You said it's okay to kill your deformed baby. Yes. My wife and I adopted four kids, three of them special needs. These people got the way she wouldn't have been here that day. Um, I want to go tell her love. Who do you love? Jesus is in my heart. I mean, my people. <laughs> Hey man, where's that lady that, that, that was saying that someone like that shouldn't live? Is it correct that a male is the same as a female? You're not the same. Women have boobs, I don't have boobs. Women have a vagina, I don't have a vagina. You don't have a penis. Men and women are made different. You, you can't spin it any other way. So how am I wrong? You're not. I'm not wrong. Is your daddy your mommy? Is your mommy your daddy? Don't tell me that you're really a boy in a girl body. You're not. Who you are is how God made you. God is about life. He wants to see you propagate, preserved, and protected. Anything that doesn't protect, that's why abortion is wrong. That's why abortion is evil. How can anybody say they're protecting the next generation when they kill their own babies? Right, so the first thing you're wrong about is the transgender. No, no, I'm talking to him. No, he's talking. I'm talking to him. Okay. Nobody is claiming that trans women are biological women. Nobody's either. claiming that. Biological women have the chromosomes to be a woman. Biological men have XY chromosomes. That's right. That's right. Nobody's saying that's wrong. However, they don't feel comfortable in the body they were born in. Nobody is claiming, not a single person here with a brain is claiming that a trans woman has XX chromosomes. Nobody is claiming that because that's not science. Like, I have a family member who turned oh, out gay on, and he does he want to be gay? No, he doesn't. Oh, I had a family member who turned out he's gay, but does he want to be gay? No. Oh, hold on, don't, don't run away. It's a, I want to, I want to, hold on, hold on. Who goes first? Let's fix it. Nobody is claiming that a trans woman is biologically born with XX chromosomes. Nobody is claiming that. They are claiming that they are born uncomfortable in the body they were born in. They are dysphoric. So they don't feel comfortable menstruating, they don't feel comfortable having breasts. So they want to change their body. And can I tell you something? See if a trans woman wants to go through surgery and wants to change their body, change their appearance. That doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect you, it doesn't affect me, it doesn't affect anyone. It makes them happier, it makes them feel less mentally ill. Why not let them just do it? You, you may not love, but want to live inside your body, but you can never make a female body. Doesn't matter how much hormones you take, doesn't matter how many surgeries you take, that man will never have a female body because to have a female body means you have to have a female mind, you have to have the female hormones, you have to have it properly from God. So no matter how much you spin it, and I have on my website right here, I, I, I can see you, but you don't own my mic. I will, I will come to you when it's my time. I don't care if you like to say something, I'm saying something. So it says here on my YouTube, tons of ex-transgender people, people ex-transgender, tons. Tons, 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 thousands, if not even not in the hundreds of thousands of people that have made that transition and realized that they were wrong. And, and you know why they realized that we're wrong? Because all these people, and I know many of them, that ended up cutting off their, their, their thing, starting to cut off their breasts, they still don't get the peace that they're looking for. Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, I used to be a born again Christian, yeah? So I said, announced that I repent of all my sins and I take Jesus into my heart. That was me three years, two or three years ago. So what happened? My life changed a bit, okay? But that's not the point here. No, that is no, the no, point. No, you no, brought no, it up. No, no, no. I want to know the point. You said you're a born again Christian. Okay. So the, what happened? Okay. The point is, the point is that I lived through it. I experienced it. I read the Bible. I actually have read the entire Bible front to back. Mm. The point is that my opinion changed, which means something changed it. With regards to transgenderism, some people do detransition. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait. no, no, no. What changed it? I want to know because you brought up the born again. You brought up religion. So what changed it? What changed it is I stopped believing in it. That's what changed it. Full what, stop. Why? Full stop. But no, I know because you're going you're gonna to try to reconvert me. And I, it's not the point here. The point in, here is that well, some Well, you people, brought it up. So I think, I wait, before, I, I will let you speak. But you brought up the born again and you said you used to. So I want to know what the used to was and why. Otherwise, why did you but bring I, it up? I, I used to believe in God, and I don't. That's it. That my life just slowly evolved, and I slowly stopped abiding by the Bible like I used to. That's what stopped, okay? And I just realized maybe this isn't as true as I, it was. I, I thought thought that every time I was praying, every time I was reading the Bible, I was like 
trying to find something out of nothing. I was praying and I was trying to get a God to listen that wasn't there. That's what happened, okay? Never felt anything, nothing changed. No God was listening, people around me died, really horrible things happened. I was like, you know what, fuck this, right? Okay, that's what happened, right? My whole family are born again Christians, so something changed for me. Okay, that's what happened, full stop. Second thing is, people do detransition, you're correct. People detransition, that's right, nobody's denying that. But that doesn't mean that you can't be trans. People regret a lot of things. Some people regret abortions. Does that mean all abortions should be legal? No, illegal, no. Some people regret, do you know what? Do you know how many people regret knee surgeries? Isn't it around 50 to 60%? Yeah, does that mean knee surgeries should be illegal? No. You're killing a baby. That's totally different from a knee okay, surgery. Okay, okay. You can't you can't equate killing a baby with a knee surgery. It's healthcare. You You're giving healthcare. You are providing healthcare to women. By That's killing so, so 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 let me ask you something. So if a child is born deformed, is it okay to just because it doesn't suit your life because you can't afford the the, the Medicare? Is it okay to just kill your baby? Yes. Nobody is saying that. Yes, Nobody is it's okay to kill your deformed. Dying. Hold on. No, she said that. You said it's okay to kill your deformed baby. Yes. Okay. Well, she thinks that all all the people with mentally handicapped issues is okay. She's like Hitler. Hitler's right here. Okay. Okay. It is easier for the child. It is easier for the child. It is easier for the parents because I did work in healthcare and it is a really hard job. But I'm not saying that abortion is all right. No, no, no. But don't don't take my. Yeah. But you just said it's okay to kill a handicapped child. Or maybe, 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 okay, okay. correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. I'm saying abortion is, should be legal because... So I'm saying when a, when a child is born and, and, he, and he has deformities or he's mentally ill, is it okay to kill that kid? No, not no. if they're born. Okay, so, so maybe not I misunderstood. if they're born. If, if they're in the uterus and then a woman decides to abort the child, she has all the right to do it. Even up to a full term? Okay. It is, it is a health risk, but if the woman knows that it's a health risk, then she, she should be allowed to make her own choices, and it's all about your own choice. So, so tomorrow, life. so tomorrow, the baby's going to be born, and you you find out no late that there's kill babies. That you find out it's in the Abortion womb. There's a, tomorrow that a baby's going to be born. It's in the womb, and you realize it has some kind of problem. Are you saying it's okay to kill that okay, baby? Okay. Okay. What about 13 year old girls who got raped? I'm not asking that, I'm asking about I this baby. You, I will answer I you. You, you know what you can do with a 13 year old a child is raped? Give that child to adoption. Amen. To a family that wants children. That's what you can do. Okay. Two traumas don't trauma. make it two traumas trauma don't make one trauma any better. It is a sticking trauma. up sticking sticking up a thing at someone's uterus and it is a trauma on of the course it's a trauma. But two traumas don't take away the first. Okay, yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So you think, so, so look, like any, regardless of which way you spin it, the child's going to come out of that womb. Now you think that that rape, the rape was wrong, we both agree, it's wrong. Now there's a child there, you think that taking that child out by tongs that can affect their more, uterus, or taking more. that you're child out by giving them an adoption, you think the, the tongs is better. doesn't want it, then she has all the right to abort it, because she's 13 years old. She experienced the fucking trauma from rape and she doesn't need to, uh, uh, she doesn't deserve to go through this trauma I think by just, bearing a child. I think, I think we're, we're missing a point here. The but child, I hold on, hold on, hold on. I will talk to you. I'm not misinformed. You're misinformed. But he, listen to me very carefully. A trauma happened to the girl. Nobody is saying that was right. Yeah. It was wrong. But somehow that baby is going to come out of the womb. Yeah. Either way, to. either way, either way. Well, well you're going to have to take the baby out either by tongs or by pregnancy. By abortion. Okay, abortion is taking out of it. Okay, I, I get you. Let's just use our, our logic here. So a baby is you coming out of the womb. I am a man, right. Yes. So what? You don't know what a, what a pregnancy does to a woman. I have two kids. Yeah, I have a wife. But, yeah. But did you ever ask your wife how it is to bear a child? Absolutely. What trauma it is on a woman's body? If she doesn't want to be pregnant, she has all the right to cho choose because it's her body. Well, so what about the baby? My Does body, the baby have any choice. right to choose? No, no. So if I if I say if I have a child and I don't want to pay child support, do I have the right to say no? Okay. Okay. You see, listen to me. Listen to the logic here. I'm a man, so I don't have a right to say or have any opinion about what a woman does with my child in her womb. So can I apply that? Can I also apply that to, hey, when the child is born, I don't, I, it, because it's her child, I, you know, I'm a man, I don't want to pay child support, let her take care of my child. Is it equally okay to do that? Is it? I don't have to pay child support. It's your body, your choice. You, you decided to have the baby. I told you not to have the baby. You wanted to have the baby. I'm not going to pay child support because I'm a man. Is that okay? Yeah. 
That's okay. I ain't, pay, I ain't taking care of the kid. <laughs> yeah, right. All the governments would force me to pay child never, support. I, never, I have a right to have. A, I have a say in what happens with my baby. I would never you can't have a baby without me. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. We're going back to you. Okay. What were we? We were talking about transgenderism. Before. Transgender. Before. Okay. Nobody is saying that detransitioners don't exist. They do. Okay. People regret procedures all the time. Okay. Nobody is saying that a trans woman is a biological woman with XX chromosomes. Nobody's saying that, okay? Mm -hmm. We are saying that there are certain people who are so uncomfortable in the female body they were born in that they would go through drastic measures to change the appearance and look of their body, okay? Uh, do you know what I was saying? Because it seems like you missed no, okay, my point. No, no. You said your exact analogy was no matter how much you try to be a boat, you'll never be a boat because you're a car. And when you go onto the ocean, you'll sink because you're not a boat, you're a car. Okay? Absolutely. You said that. I did. Yes. But the thing is, we're not boats or cars, right? We're humans. I understand where your analogy was going. Okay. It was yes. going no matter how much you try to be something, you'll never be it. Okay. Mm. But, okay. Let's, let's, let okay. Well, 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 let's well, while you're thinking about that. It's actually easier to change a boat into a car than it is to change a man into a woman. You can never okay. change a man into a okay. woman. You can never change a woman into a man. But you can change a boat into a car a lot easier than you can the other way around. Because a boat is not, it, it, it doesn't have a, a spirit. It doesn't have logic. It's something okay. you can make with your hands. So you cannot, and I stand on, on, on what I just said. Okay. But the thing is, is um, the issue of transgenderism is actually an issue with your spirit and how you feel. Okay, so if somebody feels that they are a woman, but they were born a man, they feel in their soul and in their body that they are a woman. So they're like, okay, I am really uncomfortable with the fact that I have a penis. I don't want it anymore. But they are a woman if they're born a woman. They are a man if they're a man, regardless of how they think. Their sex is female, yes. That, no, but no, but I'm not disagreeing with you. Their sex is biologically female. That's okay. So accepted. But they don't feel comfortable enough to be perceived as a woman. Perce being perceived as a woman to them is uncomfortable. It is trauma inducing. It is very upsetting. So they don't want to be perceived as a woman. And there are procedures you can undergo that are very, very drastic, very, very painful, very, very expensive. And if somebody is so uncomfortable in their body, that they would go through a very expensive, very painful procedure that takes a long time to recover. Do you not think there is something very strong driving them to want to change? It doesn't come from, oh, you know what? I feel like being a woman today. Let's just cut off my boobs or put boobs on. It doesn't work like that. No, it, it actually doesn't even work because even when you transition and you try to cover it up, I still know that's a transgender man. That's why we have a special category, transgender. We know that that's a man trying to be a woman. We know it's a woman trying to be a man. It never fits. 99.5% of every transition man still looks like a man. He just looks a little strange, okay. unfortunately. Okay. So, so here's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't matter how much you try to be something that you're not. It's who you are. And you can say I'm ugly, you know, I'm gonna take a surgery and fix my nose, fix my face, fix. but everybody that tries to do something like that artificially still looks strange. Look at Michael Jackson, for instance. Michael Jackson turning from a black guy, turned into a white guy, but he still wasn't a white guy. He's, he, he still looks strange. But, he, but you know what he said? He said, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. You gotta look in the mirror and see who you really are. And you can change the inside of you, but you still have who you are and you have a purpose. If you were made as a woman, you have a purpose of a woman, whether you like it or not. I might not like the fact that I'm born into this body, but I can't do anything about it. I can't just turn into a six foot tall man. And if I tried, I probably wouldn't walk properly. The point, no, it's not completely different. How is it completely different? If I'm born this height, I'm not gonna be seven feet tall. If you're born a woman, you will never be a man, no matter how hard you try. So the best thing to do is accept the fact that you're a woman. Be the best woman you can. Love people, have great relationships with people because God made you for that purpose. If you came into this world with this body, with this person, you have a purpose and it was given to you by God. You can't just adjust it on your own whims. First of all, this entire rhetoric is entirely transphobic. This is the reason that trans transgender people have much higher suicide rates, much higher mental health problem rates. 
when you give them this gender affirming surgery, you are reducing those rates drastically. People who are born biologically, biologically men and trans women are fundamentally different to cis men. There is a fundamental difference in their biology, in their brain chemistry. Yes, maybe they are born with a penis or with sperm and testicles, fine. But in their brain, in their mind, they are a woman. And by providing them with this life-saving, gender-reaffirming surgery, you are giving them the tools that they need to have a better lifestyle. What difference does it make to you if somebody could live a better, healthier, happier life? Yeah, because, because they don't. And that's why so they many people are detrained. No, they don't. Statistically, they don't. Now, now you said some. You said a lie. You said a lie. They do not have a different brain structure. They do not have different hormones. They do not have a different anatomy. No, yeah, no, I, I do, and I've looked at all the reports. And I'm going to tell you something. They still have sperm, and when they release their sperm, it, their sperm doesn't chase men. It chases a woman's egg. And that tells me that at the core of their being, even the thing that comes out of them is still heterosexual. Okay. That means that there's something in the mind. I can say all I want, I'm a reptile. I can say I that feel better different. as a bird. No, it's not different. I actually know people. I'm, I'm not a straw man. No, it's not a straw man. It's an argument. It's a truth. You know what? I can say I'm a, I can say whatever I wanted. I can feel better. There is people online that feel that they're a cat. They feel better as a cat. They feel better as a. Uh, I can show you right now. Does that make them a cat? Why does it matter to me? You know what? I can say you know it doesn't matter to me. But the reason why we have relationships and why we have life is because all, we're all connected. And what you do does affect me. You your, your choices in life affects me. How? How? Well, it's like if I speed down a road, it's going to affect somebody well, else. If somebody's it's stealing from, it's not speeding. Life. No, but it, what it is, it's, it's spreading lying. misinformation. It's, it's spreading disinformation. Yeah. It's, it's spreading disease. Yeah. It's spreading lies to the next generation. Right? And it's causing your own population to decrease. This gentleman will say, and then you can go after. Well, I want to say, there are people here blame with God. I was 14 years of age when I came to know Jesus Christ. Before that, I couldn't read or couldn't write. Yeah. Education failed me. Woo! I was suicidal as a young man. Woo! My life changed when I trusted Jesus Christ as my Savior. Woo! I remember going to my bed saying, I didn't blame God, I didn't blame my parents. My parents did I had good parents. And I asked God, I got all my needs. I said, Lord, will you help me and show me the way? Yes. Well, I was the Lord Mayor of the city during Mr. Clinton's visit. That's where God picked me. Right? He also called me into the ministry. Hallelujah. I've been a minister for 40, 42 years in the Jesus Saved Bible Church, and I have ups and downs, troubles and problems. But what a friend we have yeah. in Jesus! Yeah. Yeah. All our sins yeah. and griefs yeah. to bear. Yeah. What a privilege yeah. to carry yeah. everything yeah. to yeah. God. Yeah. In prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah. I have had more troubles, mm. but Jesus mm. never failed me. Hallelujah. I am now, I am now 74 mm. years of age. Mm. I'm 60 years still. Oh, and what a joy to know mm. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, brother. God bless God you. God bless you. God bless wow, you heard it from someone that walked through the journeys of life. Walking through the journeys of life with a Savior is better than walking through the journeys of life without one. Hold on. Especially child. My wife and I adopted four kids, three of them special needs. These people got the way she wouldn't have been here that day. A lot of... Go tell love. Who do you love? Jesus is in my heart. I mean, my Bible. Amen. 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 You know what I mean? That's Amen. what God can do. Okay. That's what God can do. Okay. Rescue these okay. children. It's your last time, my daddy. But my daddy said to me, my daddy said to me, you eat the paper last night. And I don't know what my baby eat. And Lord, my, my brother is by the way of the day, Lord. Amen. 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 Where's that lady that, that, that was saying that someone like that shouldn't live? It's so sad. So sad. So hateful. When you don't have an answer and you, you can't refute what the Word of God says, you end up saying it's hatred. But I'm going to tell you something. 
your hatred towards women right now, you're hateful towards men right now, and you're hateful towards God right now. And at the end of the day, God made society, nature, and everything within. So when you can't switch the narrative and say, well, I, we're hateful to you when God already said certain behaviors are hateful to him. No, you are hateful to God. And when you say things that are contrary to the word of God, the will of God, and what propagates, preserves, and protects human life, you are hateful. When you start saying that two men are for each other, you're hateful towards life. You're hateful towards propagation. When you start saying that women cannot get out of their prostitution addiction because of their subjugated, what you're saying is that women can't take ownership for your life. You're hateful towards men. You're hateful towards women. And when you say that men, you're innocent and men are the whole problem, what you're doing is you're being hateful towards men.